Okay, here's the video from two weeks ago. Um, and just going to start it off at regular speed. You can see we're a tiny bit out of time at the catch there. And I'm going to slow it right down now. This is half speed. Now, what's interesting to look at here is if we look at Suella's uh, rock over position, we look at Jan's, very, very similar. So that's great. Uh, we then look at our shins, both vertical, that's good. And then we look at where our head and our hands are looking good. Boat's trimming well, we haven't rushed into the front, so that's all looking excellent. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the stroke, probably both of us opening our back a little bit early. And now, Right, here we are at the finish. And you can see we have quite a difference in the back angles. So this is what I was talking about, Jan. You don't have to rock back like you're sitting down on a you know, sofa. You've just got to rock back a little bit more. Uh, Suella might be rocking a fraction too far back, but for the time being, that's fine. Um, so we'll just go on to another stroke and that one wasn't too bad I think it's the next one we've timed very well there both got in together there so that was excellent now what I'd like to just advance to on this same stroke now look at how Suella's blade comes out of the water. Suella's blade comes out square. Um, and Jan, yours is literally feathering in the water. So that's why we're doing that square blade. We want to get more of a pronounced tap, that delayed feather. What happens is as the rate and the power comes up, you've got to really let go of the water really cleanly um, to let the boat run at it. At, at its maximum. So back to normal speed now. That was a nicely timed stroke again. And there we are at the finish again. Pretty well timed there. Good photo to finish on.